Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're doing something a little bit different today. It reminds me of back in the old days whenever I used to do a thing called Derm Discovers and today I discovered a thing called Playstarter.es. I just received an email in my um, main press account that I normally use for uh, reporting back or contacting suppliers for games and stuff, uh, PR companies and all that kind of crack. And I received an email talking about this, specifically one of the games that are available as part of this process, specifically this one here, uh, Moirakis. Um, I, I don't know what the name actually is, but like this website is playstarter.es. It's a Kickstarter for PlayStation release games, which I found kind of surprising. So let, let, let's just kind of like take a quick look across it. The, the, play, the site looks really professionally put together. It uh, looks like it's actually put together by a campus and uh, IT technology design and gaming campus it's actually you must have a bunch of people who are making games for the purpose of releasing them onto Steam on the uh, PlayStation on the Xbox whatever else this one very much focused on PlayStation with being called play starter there's only about five projects three four five projects listed on here we're going to take a look at each one of these and just have a think have a thought have a look but like are these games that are and a number of years time or about 12 14 months time are we going to be hearing about these games because these are all pre-production games looking for kickstarter style uh funding so let's take a look here like obviously this one this one's already at sixty-five thousand. um we'll start with strikes edge to go into here first so striker's edge uh combat game i'm assuming of some sort uh so obviously to see the way i'm actually looking at this i have to translate into english because it is in spanish so apologies for anything that's actually confusing you guys here but um, I'm not really understanding what's going on either. We got a, a teaser trailer, so let's take a look at this. What does the teaser trailer got for us? So, uh, it looks like a mixture of Windjammers slash, um, maybe a Lickspear? Isn't Lickspear kind of like this, where it's actually a single weapon being shot back and forth? And maybe a little bit of, what do you call it? Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of the game. Um, so Lethal League as well, uh, which it kind of has, which isn't really a good description to give of it, but Lethal League I actually would consider a pretty good uh, approximation of that kind of gameplay as well, where you're actually like a team or individuals against each other. That looked pretty interesting. I actually like the concept behind it. Um, looks like it could be a fairly fun game, especially with the re-release of Windjammers literally in the last uh, couple of days. I think it actually literally just came out. To have um, arena-based combat back and forth. I know I've seen even like gameplay like this being done in Minecraft or in uh, Halo, I think, as well. I mean, I've actually seen something like this as well. But um, yeah, it's literally two sides. You can't cross over to your opponent's side. You have to fight, hit them from a distance. It's dodgeball. It's super dodgeball. That's exactly what it is. It's super dodgeball on a PS4 with a medieval fantasy slant. And I can get on board with this. This actually looks like a fair bit of fun. Uh, local or online could be really, really enjoyable. A good competitive edge to it. That's actually not too bad. Um, yeah, I like the. That's a good. Um, teaser that they've actually presented this in the first look so yeah obviously they've got details about uh, the game here 1v1 2v2 game modes online uh eight strikers that actually play from uh, oh yeah the look at this like specifically Towerfall, ascension and windjammers are inspirations for it uh coming to ps4 and steam and obviously they're looking for uh funds so uh, they present it's revealed three out of the what six characters there and imagine if they got a really good deal, a brand deal of some sort, you could imagine some characters from other games showing up in this, or are they still speaking to devs from other worlds? Or from, not from other worlds, from other countries in place. Um, yeah, I like the arenas as well, as well that are in this. They look pretty entertaining. Um, got a very fantasy vibe. So there's, that's the team that's actually involved with it. I'm, I'm caught off guard. I honestly looked at this and thought, right, this, 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 this almost feels like a momentary scam thing, but it really does. Seem to be a game that's in full development. Um, I, I was perturbed by the fact that it actually tried. It looked like it had the official PlayStation logo-y thing, kind of like cutting across this on a the on the um, thumbnail. But it's uh, this isn't on the official page, is it? I don't think it is. 
It would have actually said something, like done the whole vroom PlayStation. Yeah, it's from the actual company themselves. But they just happened to use a thumbnail that made it look like it was uh, on their official PlayStation channel. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not uncomfortable with that. That's not too bad of a thing. So let's see here what they got. Crowd member: five euros, twenty euros, forty euros, sixty euros, a hundred euros, three hundred euros, and uh, digital copies. Day in the PlayStation spin office. Right. So these are actually all kind of like serious uh, materials actually throw on, not just like digital copies of the games, but actually like physical stuff as well. There's uh, offers of tours and those kind of things that are actually in PlayStation Spain. So this must be that Play Starter ES is a interesting initiative being set up just for Spain. And I don't really understand why this something like this isn't being done elsewhere as well. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let the like, that, that's a bit of a focus on the first one, kind of giving us an idea of what's going on here. So let's move on to the next one and check it out as well. This one has 115,000. What was it? Um, I had to go back here and see that again. 115,500 euros from PlayStation. 180 from seven backers. Oh, right. So there is dev money involved, but it's actually like, uh, for transparency, how much money being provided by Sony PlayStation themselves? Fair enough. That's actually pretty, like that's something that you wouldn't see normally where it's actually being backed by a company, but then it's also looking for people to back it as well. And that's probably just a test of interest kind of thing. All right, we've got another trailer to check out here. Let's check this one out. This one's up on Vimeo. Ooh. So this is actually, um, this is gonna be less of a gameplay trailer, more of a cinematic trailer. Um, from what I got the description of this, the game appears to be a American football style game that actually is played with golems, I think, rather than anything else. Mm, it's a slow burner of an intro. Tell me more! Yes, you're alive. We get that you're alive. What are you going to do? It does look like an orc model from uh, Shadows of Mordor. And, that, and that's all we've got? Okay. Uh, not as enamored with that. It's 2017, I'm sure you are expecting to do plenty in 2017, but um, it, unlike your previous game, on the previous game, which actually had less money dedicated to it, this has uh, not got as much pr proof of concept material. That's concept art and character designs, and that's about it, really. So. Not too on board with that one quite as much. Uh, so let's get this translated here. Boom, 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 translated in English. Fast-paced third-person football game in which a protagonist will be stone giants who will fight to the... Yeah, so it is golems in a football match. So it, it's Blood Bowl with golems. Um, I could imagine actually being pretty cool. That'd be a very interesting um, concept. So you actually have cra crashing in each other, breaking off limbs, whatever else. But it'll be, it'll be comfortable enough to be just shown because it's uh, it's not people. It's uh, big golem rock monsters, and you'll have different types of ones. Ones that are lighter, ones that are slick, more slick, and ones that are rocky, ones that are defensive, ones that are attacking. I, I can see where this is coming. I can see where the idea is. So yeah, uh, we will be currently prototyping the gameplay and we'll be ready for testing at Barcelona Games Week. So these are these guys are actually like this is a full these are full design documents pretty much. Um, I'm not saying that it actually looks like vaporware. It's just like it looks like it's on a much earlier stage than one of the other games. But obviously, uh, oh, Dog Child. So some of the devs behind this are the people who were behind Dog Child, um, which is a game I've never covered here on the channel because uh, I actually was in touch with the dev back when the game was originally released and uh he was actually he, he, he wasn't it wasn't that he was embarrassed he was just one of the things going like oh there's a couple of things that are wrong with this but i they are being patched currently and i was like well give me a shot when the patch comes out because i'd rather see your game well represented because it looks cool it's actually good there i like some of the parkour concepts here but just felt very stiff and a couple of glitches whenever i was playing it but um i've never gone back to play it i might actually jump back on a dog child again and uh refer to it because i haven't seen it in a long while i don't even, is it on the store is it on the playstation store Properly, anyway, um, yeah, cool. That's a, it's nice to actually see people that I've actually been chatting to previously showing up with new games on their next projects. So let's take a look at the uh, tiers here. Uh, five euro tier, name in the credits of the game. Twenty dollar tier, name in the credits, the digital download of the game. So, so actually pre seal of the game. Uh, ooh, to draw a pack of five games. Also, there's actually like they're doing draws and uh, lottos and stuff as well. So you're actually paying for tickets to a raffle. 
Um, limited edition art prints, uh, slides, access to the draws, all of the above. So as you get further down, it gets uh, more stuff. Limited edition, uh, oh, one three D character of. So you get one D, you have a three D character in the game. Well, that's interesting. So um, yeah, they obviously have a uh, a series of big tiered kind of items, and one one day work. One day working day in the offices of PlayStation Spain. Huh. Access to draw PS4 Pro invitation to the event to official PlayStation Spain. This is actually very awesome stuff that actually like uh, are being properly supported. I'm assuming there's actually uh, these price packages are kind of being focused and prepared by the courses and by the actual um, company by behind by PlayStation themselves. I'm I'm really shocked that I hadn't heard of this before now. Concerned the fact, well, admittedly, it could be this is actually starting off new and this is like these their first projects. Because even looking here, there's like that game has funding from PlayStation, funding from PlayStation, funding from PlayStation, and these two don't. But this one actually has funding from individual people, so it actually has interest. All right, let's move on to Mind Taker here. Mind Taking! Mentok! The Mind Taker! Ah! Zombie God! Seize him! So, um, the enemy is inside you. How can you escape? Oh, that's terrible. Right, again, with this PlayStation logo on the side here, um, obviously not on the official PlayStation page, but using what looks like the official PlayStation art. Uh, I don't know, am I, am I cool with it? Am I not cool with it? Uh, this, this is an associated project, so I think they are cool with it themselves. So let's take a look at Mind Taker. Peggy 18. Good, horror expected. So this is going to be a murder mystery, is it? What if the enemy is right there, but you can't see it? What if the enemy is right inside? What if the most feared monster crawls behind you, but you can't hear it? What happens if it's your mind itself that starts to betray you? If the nightmare is within you, right inside your mind? Alright, how could you possibly escape? <laughs> the creepy times are beginning. Mind taker! <laughs> I'm just kind of... Uh, Probably men talk actually does make me kind of feel. Uh, I think the character puts me out of the tone of actually being scared of that, but it looks like a typical thriller, um, first person visual horror game. I, I'm, again, I'm, I'm the Amnesia collection, and these game types are probably going to be fairly prevalent for a little while because of things like Resident Evil 7 and, of course, Amnesia and other games like um, well, Isolation. As well, so like, uh, yeah, I'm sure, sure, there's gonna be an investigation and interest in that, but um, no, not I, I don't get, I don't get the jump scare things, so I don't get upset about it, so I don't really care about them. Um, it looks interesting, but uh, it still looks, it looks again at an early-ish stage where it doesn't seem to be polished, so um, I'd be curious to know what how far they actually are in the development of this. So let's take a look at the rewards here. Uh, thank you for support, name in the credits, uh, Guardian of Destiny, a draw to win a uh, PS4, PS Plus, and games. And then the same thing with uh, 40, dollar, 40 euros, 60 euros, voices in your head, digital copy. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, so all these, pa these are all price packaged, essentially. There's a bunch of price packages appear to be listed in here. There'll be stuff that you would get. Uh, invitation to try PlayStation VR and PlayStation Spain and Escort offices. Uh, physical copies, t-shirts, and all the same, going up to about the 300 euro tier. So they seem to actually have this kind of like same standard thing where they're actually like doing prize givings, which is definitely something that you can't do on Kickstarter. You can't do a prize giving on a tier. So by being here, they they do kind of cover the the difference. Like uh, this is their own platform to do it on, so they don't have to be abide by those rules. Obviously, it appears to be what you can do is those things, but um. Uh, I'm sure there'd be greater support as this game can develop so on, but as it is now, uh, Mind Taker is at uh, what, 750 euros with 12 backers. Um, yeah, let's take a look at Intruders. This one, look at it. These three have their backing from PlayStation. So I'm assuming that's where this prize, the prize will come from. That's from their, like, their, their budget for that. But this one has zero contribute by PlayStation, but is actually looking for funding itself and has about two grand already. Intruders Hide and Seek PlayStation VR game. Okay, um, I do love me my me some VR. So let's take a look at Intruders Hide and Seek and see what's teased in the gameplay. Nice environments, but looks like a pre-render kind of situation rather than actually gameplay. 
It'd be nice to want to run these, but... Think about the rotation is going to be about for each eye. It's not going to look as smooth and as pretty as this. Uh, I doubt you're going to be moving around as much as this. So I'm assuming intruders in your house. So this is your home. And I imagine you're going to have a house invader. And then you're essentially being chased around your own house. Even though it is a Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's where it's creepy. Yep, all handcuffed and tied down in your own home. Oh, Jesus, no. Are you playing as the intruder instead? That's all wonderful levels of fucked up. That is one sassy hipped lady. Bum, 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 bum. Inhaler. Bum, 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 bum. Hide underneath your bed. Bum, 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 bum. Climb in the closet. Survive. So yeah, obviously, um, isolation, amnesia, uh, mind taker, but uh, in a PSVR experience where you're being chased around the house. So uh, a bit hello neighborish kind of going on, but a, little, a lot darker, I suppose. And we'll see what the meaning of the man in the mask is. Hmm. Intruders, hide and seek. So are you a child? The skill wise, it looked like you're actually a child there. It didn't look like you're actually an adult that was being defended in the house. So the rest of them have been grabbed and taken away. Uh, Tessera Studios, if you want to actually see more details. But, um, yeah. The family, the intruders, three different ones. Uh, type of gameplay, lantern. Alright, so you have different lights. Uh, things that are actually being searched for. You have this focus points that are actually being read by your eye lines. Uh, basic controls are actually in there for doing stuff to actually jump in and hide. Uh, the devs behind it. Oh, so there's actually, so is this stuff that they've actually done uh, previously? Uh, platforms, plan PlayStation VR, Oculus, and Vive. In that order. So, of course, they probably made a, a deal of some sort to actually be able to do PSVR 1 first. Oh, oh, sweet. So, they actually had, instead of actually just going to this, we're just going to, we've got graphics down here for this this one. So, $5. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to read these because <laughs> I just realized the graphic is not going to, it's going to look good, but it's going to not be in English because it's written in Spanish. And so, access to the draw for PlayStation uh, Eternal Gratitude. Ooh, so, for the, this is the first game that doesn't actually put your name in the credits for the smallest tier. Uh, access to the draw again, gratitude, uh, more draw for VR, guided tours of game camp sites. So game camp, I'm assuming it's actually whenever they run these events to actually build sort of some of these games and do promotional stuff, they have all these events to do. Names and credits uh, at 15, uh, wallpaper for PC, mobile, soundtrack, and then for 20, it's going to include the game, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the 40 promo version, three month subscription. So they literally, it's, this is doing the prize pool thing as well as it's all the rest of them. So it's exactly doing the same thing. Just um, not with uh, money guaranteed by PlayStation towards development. But yeah, it just continues up in these tiers up to 300 euros and it's 300, 100. Um, yeah, I mean, you're pro I probably imagine that these kind of projects have a much higher chance of actually getting made because of the focus of them. Like they, obviously they're being supported by another system. Let's take a look at Dynasty Feud. I want to take a look at the people behind this itself. They actually people are set up Playstarter. Um, there seems to be a page for them as well, but I want to take a look at the last game before I jump across and do that. Oh, awards already for a whole bunch of stuff, probably for previous work. Let's take a look at Des um, Dynasty Feud, the uh, teaser trailer. So yep, yeah, definitely using the PlayStation branding and logos and uh, very self-aware of the fact they're doing it. Oh, cute. <laughs> Hillbillies versus Vikings? Yep, I'm on board. Oh, not even? It's just like... Di Dynasties in different eras? Hmm. Oh, it's got a feeling of like Duck Game, or Brawlhalla, or Towerfall, or... Um, a couple of ones that I actually can think of that are actually kind of in the same vein. Um, small creature characters, big interesting worlds, combat, and knocking people on and off screens for different ways. Oh, I, I so I see that there's actually like multiple circles for different characters teamed up. So imagine you have a family, you choose a family, and then the family actually each one of them has different techniques while they're fighting. I get that. That's an interesting way of doing the life system. It's, it's a team battle version of Super Smash Brothers. That is actually an interesting little turn. I like that. I like that concept. I, I like the idea of Smash Brothers, but with a team-based uh, changing up 
uh, abilities kind of thing. Team battle was always my most fun, the most enjoyable thing I ever had about playing a, a, just a, a traditional fighter game. Um, like Tekken, Tekken team battle was actually like that. I played that more than versus with my friends because you kind of like you planned out your combat against each other. You're like you're going like I don't want to go up against this Wong, so I need to get him the fuck out first. So I'm going to use Wang to get him out. You know, you had you had techniques and plans. So I imagine it'd be the same thing with this. You're actually countering characters in groups. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm on board with it. I think all these games so far have looked fantastic and actually have a pretty decent um, backing, design, proof of concept. This one obviously is in play. The first one we saw was in play. Meanwhile, the rest of them look like they're more kind of proof of concept-y things. And the, the, these kind of videos where it actually has literal proof of play, teasers to actually look at the gameplay and the way it's designed, I would buy, I would be much more comfortable backing these kind of games. This one actually has zero support alt at all, which is kind of surprising because of how well, how far it actually has probably developed. Um, so five euro draw for a play as four, 15, 20, 40, 60. And again, same thing, it's way up in the tiers. How are the tiers? These draws are actually probably, uh, I, I've got a feeling that see these draws are chatting about, these are all draws that are actually linked together. So you get entered for the draw for one out of these five, rather than actually there being a VR, VR headset to be given out by each one of these. But um, yeah, the Dynasty Feud actually has my attention. I'm really interested in seeing more about this. So um, yeah, I want to take a look at the player behind this. So this is actually the, the source site, PlayStation Talents, that keeps referring to in this. So you can actually go to contact, you can actually like, see it's actually PlayStation Talents that are actually what they're referring to. Uh, I don't think to take a look at us. <laughs> All right, so play starter uh, by PlayStation Talents. So this is actually the people that are behind it here. But well, we'll take a look through their description page. Platform to support the opportunities to the video game studios, all the PlayStation talents. And they've got a lot of connections with a lot of industry. Um, in innovative space for people to work in. And of course, they break it down by what projects are going to be involved in this. Uh, this is the PlayStation talents company themselves. I wish I knew more about this to actually give an opinion. I'm just impressed by the games that are actually being listed and are available to go through. Um, I want to know more about the five or six games that are actually listed here. I'm just, it's the fact that I, this is actually, this is a PlayStation page, by the way. This is actually using the PlayStation loadout, the Sony page. So um, if this is faux, if this is property, if this is faked, then I'd be very surprised at this point. Because it got mar this got marked as spam on my email whenever it came in. But obviously it's PlayStation Spain, so it might have actually got a false positive or something. I would love to know more from all you guys at PlayStation Talents and more about the games that you're working with in PlayStarter. I thought it would be a really interesting kind of first look just to kind of go through the page myself now and talk about it. But I very much welcome any comments from the devs behind this and did love to hear more about your games because this is a cool project. And I, would, I, would, I like this idea. I like this curation and backing concept. Um, it's a slippery slope, a lot of people would consider. But I would actually, I would be comfortable with backing games to be put onto the PlayStation Network to be expecting them at a later point. I, I, I think this is actually an interesting idea. It's not Steam greenlighting. It's not um, a floodgate of garbage coming in. These are people supported by a Sony in some say, shape or manner as independent small devs. And I think it's actually a good place to actually support creative endeavors. Even if I might not personally be interested in three of the games. I'm not really interested in Miraculous. I'm not really interested in Mind Taker or and Intruders. I am interested in conceptually, but they do have that same feel where this um, this are kind of playing off of the same Resident Evil vibe. Uh, meanwhile, Striker's Edge and Dynasty Feud, they are right up my alleys. I am interested in both of these immediately. And Miraculous, I would love to see something that's actually in-game concept, but it does feel like it's actually at a very early stage. But if you want to come down here and check this out yourself, it's on PlayStation.es, or sorry, PlayStarter.es, and take a look at the page yourself to see the details. I'm probably going to uh, come back here and look closer to the time. I'm checking to see, is there actually, there's no, this isn't a um, time scale thing. I'm just making sure that there isn't a time scale on these. No, it looks like they're actually taking active contributions towards their games. So if you're interested in it, check it out. Um, I would love to know more. I might come back with more details about this in the future. I want to say thank you very much, guys, for actually watching. Uh, this has been a Durham Discover. I don't tend to do these that often, but um, I thought this one was relevant enough that I needed to do it, and I didn't really have the time to jump on camera and get a, the studio set up for this, so I thought this would be the best way to show you. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and if you ever get the opportunity, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're actually watching this on YouTube, 
Bing! There you go. There'll be a bubble of boxes pop up on the screen showing a number of things, including subscriptions, Patreon links for me, uh, playlists. Over in the far corner will be the most recent videos, and of course, a video for you guys to check out of your own accord. I hope to see you guys all very soon, and thank you very, very much for watching. Bye.